means you stop. Carl, what are you doing? You're killing me here. It's worse than public access. Zoom in, pull out. Excuse me, honey. All right, let's do one more run through, please. Man, I gotta go. We, you, the, you can't leave. What's your drummer's name? We don't have any close-ups of him. Bob is his name. God, fuck. Let's go, Orson Bean. You mean Wells. No. Playback. What's up with this monitor? Where's the fucking color? What do you mean, where's the fucking color? Colors are passe, man. This is what's happening. Where's all the blue? I took it out. I took it out. This is what's cool, man. This, haven't you ever seen any any early Alice Cooper? Any Beefheart? Any MC5? This is this is it, man. This is the shit. You, you guys are artists. You're supposed to get this stuff, man. This is like this is what kids want to see nowadays. They don't go for high tech anymore, man. This is it. We're so far behind the curve, we're ahead of it, man. It's cyclical, we're it. This is the stuff, watch. This is good.
Come on, loosen up. Come on, guys, let's get this over with. He sounded good. He sounded really, I think he sounded really good. Great. You guys are pretty notorious for getting loaded a lot. Do No. <laughs> Dick enough asking you for money. If I don't make fucking rent, I'm gonna be living on the fucking beach. Stevie is a walking casualty. You should stay a million miles away from that guy. And this isn't about getting laid, okay? I I'm trying to do my job here. We should have talked about who's going to be producing this before this, all right? But you can't just walk out of the session like that. Hey, Ronnie, I'm out after this gig. This is the last show. Fuck it. I'm, I'm sick and tired of this. Fucking losers. Hey, man! Hey, fuck! Hey, fuck! Calm down! Take a walk, man! We're gonna get along a lot better when you just realize I don't make those kind of mistakes. So what are you gonna do now? Probably find some other guys to rock out with. A city on the brink. The mad bomber has struck again. We are so fanatical, you know, he's never around when you need him. A hero down on his luck. I am so dizzy from this alcohol. A sidekick. Simon must be up to some sort of setup. Who does all the work. Plan? What setup? And more villains than you can shake a stick at. And the delightful contortions of rigor mortis set in. My favorite dance move, after all. A little bloodshed never has no ends! Get up, boys! The only thing attractive about you, Siphon, is your bank book. I've always found your primitive antics somewhat amusing. How is life, Kate? The fop has kidnapped our city's top models for his war fashion show. Soon everyone in the city will know my name! Siphon, what is your demonic plan? To change living tissue into edible wax. Shade? Oh, you still remember me. She is good. And what teenage fantasy are you dressed for, girl girl? It's for easy maneuverability. update. 
Well, earlier today, the Wall Technologies Global Financial Networking Satellite was successfully launched into orbit. It's scheduled to go fully online in less than 48 hours. And the company says it will forever change the way the world does business. Now, in an unprecedented event here on Wall Street, every single analyst has issued a firm buy rating on Wall Technologies, ticker symbol WAC. In less than a year since its impressive IPO, shares in Wall Technologies, like its satellite, just keep reaching for the stars. And unlike most internet companies that see their market cap well outweigh actual earnings, Wall Technologies has consistently proved the opposite. The man behind Wall Technologies, who many are calling the architect of the new global economic era, is President and CEO Robert Wall. Though most Wall Street insiders believe rumors of a silent partner, Official company records show that Robert Wall single-handedly runs this company of monolithic proportions. He will arrive today at JFK Airport. Good luck, girls. Chicken and black and picking out bell. What? We made the switch. Oh, they're taking off. Okay, good. Tara? Seems to be the problem, fellas. You were supposed to wait before 
engaging. You want us out on this one? And this is what we came for. Not a problem. Yeah, not for you. Hey, sis. Did you get it? We got it. Product secured. Problem? We're so close. We'll never get past the front gate. I can handle that. Great. And then what? For nothing. We liberate some Tibetan artwork. Good Samaritan. You just want to kick some ass. If it comes to that. Case. I'll let that be a judgment call. <sighs> All right, sis. Go do your thing. Solid. Fly, Robin, fly. What? I man. So just say so. In flight. Action delight. All clear. All right, Vi. You take the back. See what you can find. Ari and I will take care of the guys out front. Time for your close up. <laughs> How should I know? Have I played this before? Jim Rummy. We're playing Jim Rummy. I thought we were playing poker. Oh. I got. I got less. Than I got two rooms. So. Playing cards again? I pay you guys a salary to clean this place. I hate dirt. I want it clean now. Pick up the dirt. Mop the place now. What the? Police, 
They're sending three black and white squad cars your way. We gotta get out of here! Coffee? Hey, I got this at the deli. What do you want? That was your first mistake. Yeah, yeah. Where's Mickles? Yeah, right here. What you got in our stiff? I got nothing. Nada. Dick. Buckus. Some Greek merchant marine. I couldn't pronounce his name if I wanted to. Goes AWOL off his ship about a month ago. And then, BAM! Ice Slovakia. So, uh... He wasn't an employee. Would you hire him? Got the press outside. Whoa. What press? It's Christine Hardy. <laughs> Great. Head case with the lowest lane complex. <laughs> um, I could field this one if you want. <laughs> I bet you would. You got two minutes. Can I get some real coffee here? Where are my yodels? <laughs> Hey, Chris. Hey, Harry. I don't got much time. You know, posters ride my ass again. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Detective Mickles, is it true that this gang was smuggling ancient art from Tibet? Uh, looks like crosstown traffic to me. You know, two rival gangs pick a meeting place, something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. But why here? These guys were dealing in stolen artifacts. Yeah, this place is full of a lot of weird stuff. I don't know. We're as much in the dark as you are, really. Nichols! Uh, I gotta go. Thanks, Harry. <gasps> oh, hi, girls! Case knows the owner. Besides, it's a good cover. This is an exciting time for Wall Technologies. Uh, our stock is just, it's going through the roof. And frankly, uh, I don't see any end in sight. So is this like your headquarters or, or something? She's impressed. We need to keep a low profile. Remember what happened last time? Relax, there's nothing tying us to that. Right, Vi? Uh, right. You girls are wanted? For all kinds of things. Our global satellite network is revolutionizing the way the world does business today because in Wall Technologies, we are making the future today. Boring! Wow! Better! Hey, I was watching that. Hey, take it easy, C-SPAN! Hello, girls. Ugh, I hate that. Any fallout from the cops? Ah, uh, 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 yes. Hello, Miss... Case. Case. No, it's not a problem. They think it's gang-related. Something's off, though. Those guys are ready for a fight. Yeah, and why would a bunch of art smugglers pick a place like that for their drop-off? You know? Good point. 
I'll look into it. Where's the product? Safe and sound. Be at the contact point, 3 p.m. tomorrow. Case out. Well, we're thank you downtime. What you got the scene outside? I'm in. Well, I, I guess it could be fun. Tara? Uh, nah. I think I'll just try to relax. <coughs> Nice. Where did you say you studied? I didn't. <laughs> Tara Jones, Tara Jones, Tara Jones. You know, I said that name 25 times yesterday. That's obsessive. <laughs> Has a nice ring to it. Far from me to make this type of statement, but you don't look like a Jones. I'm an orphan. <clears throat> That's just a name that's taking me. I think it was originally Smith. <clears throat> right. It's 12.45. How about some Belgian waffles? Sure. That's three Sundays in a row. Seems like we got a routine going on here. Sure. Yeah, let's forget the sure. Let's mix it up a bit. To hell with the Belgians. How about some Uruguay? Pakistani. Some <laughs> Pakistani waffles ago, and I'll suffer the consequences. Hmm. Consequences. Ah, oh, my beeper. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Business. Oh, yeah, and what was that business of yours again? You know, business. Right. Hey, Miklos. Hey, Rusum. You got that file I ordered? I'm not that bad at you. Ah, uh, you're a good man, Rusum. I try. Yeah. But we tracked this flight out of Tibet. The transfer in Washington, the switch at the airport, and the drop-off? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ari! Who cares? It's junk anyway. Hey, what's that? It looks like some kind of computer chip. Well, at least this makes sense now. Shima! Did you do as I specified? I was very specific. I did all you asked. And not to complain, but I'm still cleaning the pigsty. Don't worry a little ahead about it. Sooner or later, they're going to know it's a fake. I'm counting on it. What aren't you telling me? A whole lot of things. I'm playing a game, Troya. I like to think of it as a symphony. And right now, I'm hitting all the right notes. Whatever, maestro. Very soon, then, Mr. Craven. Very soon, Mr. Wall. Fake? I've been hearing that a lot lately. And the chip? Way encrypted. We can't even get to the front door. We're running backup search programs on it right now. Vi? Do you have those surveillance photographs? I scanned them in. Chris is sending them over to you right now. Oh, oh, right. right. Oh. What's up? You know her? Oh. 
I did once. Her name is Troya Nice. She's, uh, she's a little bit before your time. Bad news? Worse. She's a known associate of Graven. Oh. Graven? Who's Graven? I didn't sign on for this. I didn't sign on for anything close to this. <laughs> Who's Graven? You don't want to know. And the stakes just went through the roof. How do you want to deal with this? Standard procedure. Follow the money. Right. Chris, see if you can hack into the warehouse's electronic files. Try to find out who is even planning on buying that damn statue. I'm a step ahead of you. Anton Fesselhoff, dealer in rare antiques. He lives at 23 Ruford Avenue in uh, Brackport. It's a little town about 20 miles outside of the city. Ari, Vi, you know the drill. Uh, well, what about me? Chris, you can't. Well, I'm done with my homework. When do I get to go out on a mission? Someday when you're all grown up. We need you back here to check on the encryption programs. And, and, uh, well, well, Case will find something for you to do. Sorry. Oh. Hi. Oh, they're good, right? Yes, correct. So we got anything on uh, the deck rig? Yeah, a whole lot of weirdness. He jumped ships a month ago, right? Two days later, he gets a hundred thou in a Buenos Aires bank account. Swiss transfer of funds. Untraceable. That's a hell of a pay hike. Yeah, and check this. Wangstaff, the foreman at the warehouse? They found him this morning. Stuffed inside a dumpster on West 40. Broken neck. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, and a whole lot of dead for one address. Any angles? One. I found some flower petals there. How nice for you! It fits an M.O. Viola Jones, cat burglar. She pulled off some pretty wild gigs in her time. She always left the petals of a viola flower behind, you know, like a calling card. There's only a bit of hard evidence linking her to the different crime scenes. Prison shrink thought maybe she wanted to get caught. What do you sleep with this chippy's rap sheet under your pillow? I was their arresting officer. Get out! She did. About a year and a half ago. Jailbreak, upstate. So she's the one that's been dropping all these mooks? Nah, nah. She's not a killer. Not a killer? Maybe she had some help. Wait a minute. You had a thing for her. That is sick. That is sick. That is sick. Falling for a wanted felon. You know there's a name for this. I don't know what they call it, but there's some condition. 19. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're on it. We got an address on that buyer from the warehouse gig. Okay, then. All right. You gonna eat that? Thanks. Nah. So, uh, this is the suburbs, huh? Creepy. Where are you from, anyway? You don't want to know. Alright, it looks clear, but I make first contact. What's your in? I'm a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, Ari, as soon as I'm through the door, you count 20, you follow me frontside, vibe, you take the back. I always get the back! It's your strong point. You're in first sign of trouble. Otherwise, handle any spill off. Spill? You know, you break me out of jail, which is very nice. Thank you very much. Hmm. But now what? I'm like your indentured sister for life? Just go. Go. I bossy boots. So, Tar, once we're in, we bust some heads, right? 
providing their heads to bust. All right, it looks clear. It looks pretty dead though. All right, I'm gone. Antiques? All clear? Too clear. Take the back, Vi. Take the back. You don't like it back there. It's in the back. Raise your hand if you've ever stolen a Rembrandt. We're screwed. Not today, little girl. Why am I not surprised to see you here? Ms. Jones? Miss Nice? Cute outfit. I could say the same. I'd love to stand here and talk accessorizing, but... Why? Why are you 
Are you okay? I I guess so. What happened? I'm I'm not sure. Well, this was a wash. Let's go. Ari, what the hell happened back there? What? Explosion? The blowing up of things? The bad guys here, bad guys gone. Not you ever hear of capture interrogation? You know, trying to find out what the bad guys' plans are? timeline here. The front door and zipper's getting your way. I said I was sorry. I'll pay for any damages. Mmm. Damages. My beeper. Business? Yeah. You going? Yeah. Well... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I get this feeling that your business is a little dangerous. You're not correcting me. Maybe it's something that I can help you out with. My black belt isn't just a fashion accessory, you know. I can't believe it. We finally get a solid lead on this case, and somebody goes ahead and blows up the evidence. I'm sick of playing catch up here. We need to get proactive on their asses. Proactive? Yeah, proactive. I read the business section. Means we gotta start doing something. Huh. You're right. You're right. Let's do something. Yeah, let's do something! Where were you? And why didn't you check in with the others? I had to take care of something. We need to take care of something. Sorry, it's under control now. Ari and Vi fill you in? Yes. Graven tipped his hand trying to set us up. That means he knows we're on to him. Chris is doing a background check now. Got it! 
turns out Anton Fesselhoff isn't a real name. He doesn't really exist. No social security number, nothing. Turns out the house at 23 Ruford is really owned by Empire Properties, which is a subsidiary of Ogilvy Holdings, which in itself is a very small division of... Wall Technologies. Wait, let me check something out. That warehouse where the heist was pulled? That's owned by Wall Technologies too. Oh, oh, I know this. Current events. It's that guy who's putting up the big global financial satellite network thing. So this wall guy's in bed with Craven? That can't be good. Chris, look up all the wall tech holdings. Cross-reference them with satellite capability. Start prep, we're going in. What? Just like that? The timing's too clean, Tara. Whatever Graven's up to, it's got to have something to do with that satellite. Girls. I'm seeing clouded judgment here. I mean, this is Graven we're talking about. Yes, that's exactly who we're talking about. I'll start prep. Maintain constant radio contact. Always. So, the implant can directly access the subject's optic nerve. I tell you, technology's amazing, isn't it? Looks like they're onto our connection with Wall. They'll be heading this way soon. Better and better. I can't figure you out. And that's a good thing. If you did, I'd have to kill you. Hey, watch it, big daddy. How goes it, Mr. Graven? Very well, Mr. Wall. Uh, how was the interview with Forbes? Yeah. Redundant. What about the chip? It should be hand-delivered within the hour. By the way, I've been thinking of retooling your corporate anthem. Something along the lines of, uh, he's got the whole world in his hands. Hey, I like that. I like that. I thought you might. Can you work my name into that? Yeah. Tara! What about me? Find out anything more you can about wall technologies. Oh, busy work. Chris, you don't know. I don't know because you don't tell me. All I get is this I'm such a spy girl routine. I mean, who is this Graven guy anyway? Where do you know him from? And where were you for like the past 10 years of our lives? Me, Case, and Grave, and we're all part of this group called the Conclave. You know how they're always talking about the New World Order? Well, we kind of already got here, but they didn't tell anybody. It's really groups like the Conclave that run the show. They recruited me right out of the orphanage. Do you remember that day that we had to fill out that weird questionnaire? Yes, sir. Yeah. And then you were just gone. Well, I guess I told them what they wanted to hear. They tested Vi, too, but she had discipline problems. You know, sometimes I wish I had more of those. Well, I was there, too. How come they didn't try to pick me? I don't know. Maybe because you asked too many questions? So, me and Case didn't like what we'd become, so we started harm. Graven turned, too, but he's changed the game, and that means we don't even know what we're playing with here. Okay, I'm on my way. And that is why, Miss Christina Lean, you are not going on any missions anytime soon. But I can look. I looked you up again because I wanted, I needed a friend. I don't need another dead one, okay? Okay. This is Larissa Hart, WSLA News. With the Wall Technologies satellite scheduled to be online in less than two hours, shares of the company, ticker symbol WAC, are soaring to record highs. We'll be standing by live with comprehensive coverage of all the action. What? You're going to what now? This can't be right. Where's the chip? Oh my gosh. Chris? Chris? What's wrong? Ah, uh, just video overdue. Very, very bad. Skillet! Skillet! 
Don't get all squirrely on us. What? He was a Greek who loved his Uzo and loved to talk trash. It picked through the trash. That's what we're paying you for. Okay, he was, uh, uh, hit it big time. He was buying everyone drinks, and, uh, he said he was gonna make it big on the market. Like, Short hand, Skillet! Wall Technologies, he was working for Wall Technologies. Founder and CEO, Robert Wall. One of Fortune 500's top ten earners last year. Huh. Address? I'll look into it. Watch your step, girls. I'm in. Tara, Ari is in. Have I disabled the cameras? The cameras are on perpetual loop. They're only showing what they're seeing right now. That's an alley. All right, Ari, we're in. What's wrong? Well, who, who, who are they? Now, where did they come from? Hmm? Looks like the circus is in town. Well, I have enough clowns working for me. Get rid of them, will you? Look lively, boys. Those aren't debutantes you're after. We'll keep it together. upstairs. She likes things with a short fuse. I'm sure you'll be hearing from her soon. No matter. Find her. Miss Nice will be relieving you of your radio link now. It's nasty. More like it.
Case has heard quite enough, don't you think? Oh. I'm sorry we couldn't provide you with a surprise party. Not likely. I've been keeping an eye on you. If memory serves, you love to gloat. Want to start? Tara, I've matured so much since we both uh, altered our career paths. Me? I've been looking at the big picture. Decided I didn't like it very much. So, I figured, I'm an artist of a sort. Why not we do it? Here comes the gloat. You know, it's amazing what you'll find in the government stock room. Me? I was just digging around looking for souvenirs and uh, what do I hit upon? A little mothballed initiative from the CIA's MK Ultra program back in the late 60s. Seems like back then, folks were very concerned about things like student unrest, black rage, what have you. And they figured a pretty good solution to this might be uh, mind control. They tried everything. Psychoactive drugs, electroshock, sensory deprivation, until they hit upon sound. In particular, an ultra-high frequency amplitude that completely negates the critical thinking centers of the human brain, leaving it wide open to suggestion. Of course, some lame-ass Senate subcommittee had to step in and shut their pioneering efforts down, but uh, are you beginning to see the possibilities here? Don't tempt me. I mean, sound is concentric. It will just keep traveling on forever, given the proper medium. And I figured, why not make the medium the message? Why not reach the largest audience possible? So, I did a little tinkering and uh, made a proposition to Mr. Wall here. Put the world's financial markets under mind control? My control? Sounds like a good investment to me. Bill Gates has his methods and I have mine. And in about 23 minutes, I'm going to be the ultimate inside trader. How does the Conclave feel about this, Graven? I haven't checked in with them lately, but uh, if I had to guess, I'd say jealous. I got there first. They're going to kill you, you know. Not this time, baby. I have the trigger switch. Did I mention? The original CIA schematics were a bit shoddy. Primitive microchip technology at best. A transmitter actually had to be locally injected into a subject. Very inefficient, but uh, it does have its uses. Viola, the chip, please. Why? 23 Ruford. That trap wasn't for us, it was for her. I knew I needed a master thief to get my chip back. But you handed us the chip in the first place. And there it is. Psycho. What are you going to do? Viola? Kill your sister. Kill my sister. Kill you. Kill my sister. Actually, she's been stripped of all human compassion Kill and remorse. Check it out. It's neat. Kill my sister. Oh my God. Hi. Stop. You are Kill under my control. Sister. You just Works pretty good. Kill you. Kill my sister. Sorry. Chris, get out now. Wait.
Chris. Go home, Chris. You don't know how to do anything. Maybe they're right. I'm way out of my league. School of Hard Knocks wins. Sorry. Hold it. Kill my sister. My, uh, what? You mean you never told her? Told me what? Told me what, Case? Apparently, blood never lies. Viola was acting on pure instinct. Told me what, Case? Troy was the daughter that your mother kept. But she was dangerous and psychotic. She killed a classmate and wound up in Juvie Hall, and that's where Gravely found her. I have an eye for talent. So she knows who my mother really is. Do you? I... I'm all for closure, but, uh, bye. Kill you. Kill my sister. Stop, Graven. Get the remote. It overrides the satellite. What, are you giving me orders now? Which Charlton Heston when you need it? Listen, why did you have to bring these goddamn women into it? So dick. How's this for closure? Finally found your perfect partner, Jacob. Our association with Mr. Wall has been quite mutually beneficial. Yes, Mr. Uh, Mr. Graven has upped my stocks considerably. You don't know him very well, Wall. Jacob has always had his own agenda. Why don't you ask him? Ask him what? What his real plans are. <laughs> what is she talking about? We've been together too long, haven't we, Cassandra? You know what this chip is really going to do, Mr. Wall? It's going to send out something I like to call the chaos pulse. You see, I don't want to control the markets. I want to destroy the markets. What? I, I can't believe what you're talking about. Ow. Sorry, Bob. So, Cassandra, have we known each other too long? Well, Wolf, I know. Thing. I'm in! No. You're out. Hi, girls! <laughs> Disconnected. You know I'm just gonna have to kick your... You think I could forget Black Friday? <laughs> Good times. I made you an offer, Cassandra. You could have come. Not where you were taking me. I made it out alive. I know five other agents that didn't. Five lapdogs of the Conclave, who would very happily have put a bullet in either one of us, I might remind you. You went rogue for the same reasons I did. We weren't working for the government. There are no governments anymore, only interests. We didn't like their dirty little wars, so we started our own. I created harm to try to undo a little of what I've done. But you, Jacob? You just want to destroy. I prefer to call it a purging. Burn the whole shit house to the ground and start clean. Wanna come? Not likely. Yeah, I hit command six like a million times. Oh, there's some kind of manual override locking me out. My offer still stands, Cassandra. Except the terms have gotten a whole lot better since Black Friday. You see, before I crash the world's markets, I'm going to cash in all of the wild tech options. You may be crazy, but I'm no fool. Oh, so that's what this is all about. You just want to be king of the new shit house, don't you? It's not the title I would have chosen for myself, but it'll do. <laughs> you are not in a case. That's because you know I'm right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cassandra. I really am. He was going to make my stocks drop. From now on, we're doing it my way, the straight and narrow. My satellite is still going online. 
You're forgetting something, Wall. Unless you shut down Graven's remote, his chaos puzzle will still go through. And you won't out squat. Oh. Oh. oh, my sister. I'm sorry, Jacob. I really am. I'm sorry, Vi. Get off me, you wank! Vi? To leave? Come on. I hate that girl. <gasps> the override's gone. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. I... I can see the false data. Or... I can crash with memory circuits. Anything? Business as usual. You got that right. Five, four, three, two, one. What's wrong? I can't. I can't hear him. I can't. What? I'm really good at this. You go down, huh? And I'll go up. All right. Hi, sis. Back for more? Call me a glutton. You're a glutton? Brody? Sorry, Doc. The Conclave? Undercover. They don't like loose ends or wild cards. We waited for you to take care of Graven. And now I guess you have to take care of me. Well, business. Right, business. If I were you, sis, I wouldn't take this kind of treatment. I'm still asking myself that same question. How about you? I know this doesn't look too good. Yeah, and not too good usually means bad, which often leads to illegal. Harry, you ever hear the ends justifying the means? <laughs> Tell you what, let's just stick to the means for now, okay? Seems like uh, I can't trip over a corpse lately without finding some of your little calling cards nearby. <laughs> they were trying to kill us. Okay. So who's us? See, that's where the story starts to get kind of long and complicated. And I... Eh, 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 eh. Not that easy. Harry, would you believe me if I told you that I was trying to help save the world? In that outfit? <laughs> You're a killer. You can't change that. Harry, I'm not a crook anymore. Well, technically. 
luckily I am. But that's not, that's not all there is to it. You've got to trust me. All you've got is your, your gun and your badge. And that's not gonna tell you everything. Go. Go. I'll send you a postcard. Hello, are you an idiot? Yes, I'm an idiot. I know you too well. Maybe not. No. No. Ah. Oh. All right, Sleeping Beauty, nap time's over. You're coming with me. Hands in the air. You know, Ty. I really did love it. Whatever. You okay? My boyfriend tries to kill me. My sister tries to kill me. You are my sister. It's been a hell of a day. I know. That's why I'm not going to kill you. Yet. The girl should only have to put up with so much. So, it looks like they got away. Yeah, looks like they did. Uh, as I was saying, I believe I have a right to see an attorney. Yeah, yeah keep talking. I love a good story. <laughs> Butler in Washington, the drop. Open up. R is in. Have CC just. What? Right, 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 right. Okay. 
case, case.